This is the second part of Barry's Symposium. Manipulating the text is very challenging. You have your center bracket, left bracket, and right bracket. The center bracket is used to flip the words around your path using the path tool. The center bracket has a arrow facing upwards, and if you click and hold, it'll flip it. Moving it toward the center will be moving it toward the center of your object like that, and do you see how it flips inside? So there we go. The object is to move it along the path in the way that we need it to. Based off of the last video, your Burying Symposium 1.5 should look exactly like mine. What we're going to do is copy it. So hit the Selection tool. Make sure Three Rivers is active. Copy it, and then you're going to go ahead and paste it in place. Click View on the application bar. Go down to Guides and click Hide Guides. Make sure the selection tool is active. Drag the center bracket until the text is centered at the top of the circle. Use the selection tool and you're going to copy three rivers and then click edit again and click paste in front. Once you paste in front you're going to use the center tab to drag it toward the center and get three rivers at the bottom sort of centered. Similar to that. Moving text along a path is a touch sensitive procedure. You will find that it's easy to flip the text over the baseline and it will run inside the circle. With a little experience you'll find that you're able to position text on a line as you desire. Like most of the seniors say, you need to finesse this project. So once you flip the text on the inside of your base, then I'm going to show you how to go ahead and manipulate it so it drops down below. The three rivers is at the bottom like this. If you double click, you have an insertion point. Select all of it or control A and type the word symposium. After you type Symposium, I click the Selection tool, and then what you can do is click this to finesse the path. I don't know where my center tab is. There it is over there. You know what? Don't mess with that. Once we have it active, open up the Character panel, and you're looking for a baseline shift. It says set the baseline shift to negative 21 and see how it drops down below. After that drops down, it says click the selection tool and then use the center tab and drag it so that it's centered somewhat. And again, it's not working for me. Finessing it on a video is not a good look, so I'm going to undo. And I'll pause it right here. Um, what we're going to do is go back and edit the kerning. So if you double click between each letter, see between the S and the Y, you're going to go to the window type character which opens up your character panel go to kerning and finesse the kerning so that your letters look close and not like you're a two-year-old writing this down alright I'll stop the video here and do the rest of this if you have questions ask me during class